How to make sourdough bread. Now that you have your starter, check that it's active by dropping a little in some cold water. If it floats, it's ready to use. Start by placing 100 grams of the starter in a bowl with 350 grams of lukewarm water. Whisk until combined. Next, add 400 grams of plain flour and 100 grams of wholemeal flour. Use your hands to combine the flour and starter mixture until a sticky dough forms. Cover with plastic wrap and set aside in a warm place for 30 minutes to rest. Next, add 10 grams of salt and use your hands to mix it in. Cover and set aside for 30 minutes. With wet hands, lift and fold the dough eight times, rotating the bowl 90 degrees after each fold. Cover and set aside for one hour. Repeat the folding three more times, resting an hour in between folds. Now lightly flour a clean work surface. Using wet hands, transfer the dough onto the flour. Using a damp pastry scraper or your hands, shake the dough into a round, pulling the dough forward and under itself until you get a nice tight ball. Place a clean tea towel in a bowl and generously dust it with rice flour. Make sure the flour goes up the sides of the tea towel. Place the dough upside down in the bowl and fold over the tea towel lightly to cover the dough. Then place the bowl in a large plastic bag. Pop it in the fridge overnight to slowly rise. Preheat the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. Place a large heavy base casserole pot with the lid on in the oven and heat it for 30 minutes. Remove the dough from the bag and unfold the tea towel. Place a sheet of baking paper over the bowl and quickly turn the bowl and the paper onto the bench. Using a scalpel or a very sharp small knife, make slashes in the top of the dough. Carefully place the dough in the hot casserole pot and pop on the lid. Bake covered for 25 minutes. Remove the lid and bake uncovered for a further 20 minutes or until the bread is golden brown and hollow when tapped. Carefully transfer the bread to a wire rack. Cool for at least 30 minutes before cutting. Serve the bread warm or at room temperature spread with butter. These easy to follow steps will help you bake professional sourdough your friends and family will rave about.